I'm going to show you how to learn how to design jewellery, especially if you don't have any experience designing jewellery. The first thing you want to do is you want to create an account with Pencil. So Pencil is a super easy to use design platform. It allows you to design jewellery in minutes with no previous experience. You can go to pencildesign.co to create an account. Uh, the link's also in the description for this video. When you get to the website, you can create an account for free. Just click on sign up or start designing for free. You'll need to enter in some details uh, and then after that it's going to send you an email and ask you to verify it. And now you can create an account. So let's create an account. Uh, enter in all of your details, especially your user type. That really helps personalize the experience. When you first log into Pencil, it is going to pop up and suggest plans if you want to go straight to a premium plan. You can certainly start on the free plan though, and all you need to do is click this X in the top right hand corner. Um, you're automatically on the free plan. Okay. First thing you'll notice when you're getting into Pencil is this uh, pop-up message box on the right hand side that's going to come from the little chat icon down here. Don't close this. This is super helpful. This is going to be what teaches you to design jewelry and to get really familiar with pencil. So we're going to take a look here. It gives you a little video to watch. Once you've done that, you can mark it as complete. There's some help articles as well. So if you want to just read through how to get started with pencil, it's going to show you how to go through, how to select templates, what happens after you select a template, how to place stones, how to move stones once you've placed them. So we'll mark that one as completed. The next thing we suggest you do is actually dive in and, and then launch the design editor. So let's do that now. And this is actually where you create designs in pencil. If you haven't done it, we do recommend enabling hardware acceleration. And you'll see there's that in that top box here. Once you get to this page, if it's the first time here, you're going to get a product tour. Again, super helpful for learning how to use pencil, particularly if you've never designed jewelry before only takes a couple of minutes and you actually create a design while you're doing it. It's going to teach you about templates. Uh, in this case, it's going to suggest that we click the claw ring template to use it for this tour. So let's do that. Once the claw ring template has loaded, you'll also see here that there's a quick guide on how to actually move the design around. So left click and hold to move the design. Uh, you can scroll your mouse or trackpad to zoom in and out. And then we've got this little cube in the top corner here. Uh, that cube actually rotates the view to either the front or the back or the top. Um, really makes it nice and easy to quickly see different angles of your design. If you want to change the shape and size of your design, you can use these sliders here. Uh, once you've gone through this quick tour, it's going to then give you uh, free reign to actually start designing yourself. So now that we've done this, let's actually create a design because I want to show you how to uh, quickly create a design in pencil. Remember, this is always going to be here if you ever need any help. All right, let's go back to templates. Let's pick a new template. We're going to make a really easy bezel set stacking ring. Um, let's go into view all. I'm the free plan, so if you're on the free plan, you only have access to a few of the templates, but you know, still quite a lot compared to uh, some other tools that don't give you access to anything. And so let's start with the slim plane ring. It's a really nice basic stacking ring that you template that you can use to create stacking rings. Once you've loaded the template, there's a few options that you have. You can change the width of it, you can change the height of it. So we're going to make this maybe a little bit wider, actually. Cool. And now we'll go in and we'll place a stone. Um, what you can also do after you've changed the shape and size is you can change the name of it uh, and the material as well. So that's all under the basic settings tab. Uh, I really recommend naming your designs, particularly if you go ahead with a premium account, you'll, you know, after a few months, potentially have hundreds of designs. So it makes it nice and easy to find them. Your design material is going to impact the weight and also once you actually go and get it made. So if you want it to be in uh, 18 karat yellow gold, or if you want it to be in silver, or if you want it to be in platinum, you can select that here. 
Uh, we do have finishes available uh, if you are a, a premium user. So it's one of the things that premium users get access to is adding things like hammered finish or brushed finish or satin. But let's go ahead and let's actually add a stone now. All right, uh, one other thing to just call out, whenever you see this little question mark, that means that there's a guide. So if you're a little bit unsure as you're going through it and you, you wanna get some help, just click on the starter guide here. This is going to take you through exactly how stone setting works, how to place it, how to rotate it. You can see here we've got moving stones, creating a stone customization. All right, but let's go ahead and put one here. I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put a round stone and we'll select the stone size. So we might do a three millimeter round stone. And we're going to do a four prong basket. Now you can change this. Don't worry, you're not locked in after you make your decision. You can go back and you can change it uh, before you place it. And let's do an emerald. Okay, so once I've selected all of my options, then I'm going to get this stone here that I can move anywhere along the ring. Um, if you pick a stone other than round, you might also want to rotate it and you can rotate it once you've placed it. Um, so that's something that you can do relatively easily. But in this case, we're just gonna show setting a simple ring and I'm gonna use this cube at the top here, right? So that's going to change my view um, because I wanna set this from the top down and we'll just zoom right the way in so we can make sure it's nice and centered. Um, there is a, a snapping guide. So these red lines are actually, they're actually making it sticky as I'm moving it around. Okay, and once you've got it in the right position, you just double click. That'll actually put that design in place. So that uh, stone is then locked in. Let's have a look at it from the front. You can see it's a little bit crooked there. So I'll show you how to rotate it. And remember, you can rotate once you've placed the stone. So if you're trying to place it and you want to rotate it before it's placed, just double click, put it in position, and then you can start using the rotate tool. Um, so I just clicked on that to select it. You could also then scroll down and select it from the list here. And I just use this little green line. I'm clicking and holding to rotate. Uh, you can zoom in. You can also hold down shift and then left click to pan the design. See that I've done that here. Okay, so that's looking pretty good to me. That's lined up and centered. I'm gonna click the green check mark there. Um, I'm also going to move this a tiny little bit just using the advanced move tool. And again, that gives me these arrows here, which you can uh, click and drag to move it around. So I'll move it just there. So it's sitting perfectly on the edge of that band. And I'll click the green check mark. And that's done. So the next things I could do with this, uh, if you wanted to go ahead and actually manufacture this and make it into a piece of jewelry, you've got a couple of options. Uh, the first one you can do is you can click on Get It Made. Uh, now, because we're using a free account, you Get It Made only for premium users, but it's super simple. You click on Get It Made, and then you're able to connect directly with a list of vetted manufacturers and makers who can do everything from making bulk quantity of these if you're a brand that wants to sell it to making one of a kind. If you're looking to connect to a local jeweler to doing 3D printing and prototyping, if you just want to see what it looks like in plastic or resin. Uh, you could also download the STL file. So that's the manufacturing ready 3D file. If you're familiar with 3D printing and making jewelry, that's the file that you'll be most familiar with. And you can get that directly from the download option here. Um, but that's been a very quick guide to pencil and how to create your first design, even if you've never designed jewelry before.